script, and then I'm gonna log on for dinner. All right. Um, <clears throat> all right. So now I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on a script that I'm using in my game. It's called Enemy Reinforcements, and the the author is Heim. Uh, you can find his uh, his scripts at HeimWorks.com. I'm gonna link it down below. Um, but basically, the name of the script is called Enemy Reinforcements, and this script actually allows you to call in different troops into the battle. So this is a way to basically add and remove troops uh, at your will or at your desire to change the battle. Basically, it allows you to customize the battle however you want. So it allows you to more uh, customization and um, variety in battles. Which is good because you want your battles to be varied, not all the same, right? I mean, that's the that's the key, right? You don't want to have the same feel to every battle, so it allows you to change the tempo. Is it too monotone? My fault. That's what happens. Yeah. Okay, so you don't want to you you want your your battles to be interesting, intriguing. You want um you want enemies to appear out of nowhere, or you want reinforcements, such and so forth, right? So this script allows you to do all those. So what it does is basically you just go to Heimworks, you find enemy reinforcement script, and you're going to paste it under the material section. Um, and once you paste it and you hit apply, okay, then and then the the script is in your game at that point. So that's how you um, apply the script. And now you, or well, that's how you, I guess, install the script. So in order to apply the script, you need to use the script calls here. Um, these script calls are, are going to go into the troop section. <clears throat> so the troop section is where you add in the scripts calls for whatever you want to happen during the, the battle. So I've already set up a battle using all these script calls. Um, the first script call is add enemy, which adds a single enemy from a troop. Uh, you can use the index, which is 1 through 8, depending on the order that you added them, uh, to call in individual enemies. Um, if you want to add an entire troop, use add troop and then just add the troop ID number. Alright, uh, if you want to remove an entire troop, you use remove ID, remove troop, and then troop ID. Right, so this allows you to um, to remove a certain troop from the battle that you don't want there, right? So, um, and then the last one is troop exists. Troop exists is a variable that allows you to check to see if an actual troop is still in the battle and if it's still alive. And if it is, then it returns true. So you want you want to have a true. Um, it's like a conditional using a conditional branch to see if a troop exists, and then you can do a certain. You can do whatever you want with that, right? You can add text, you can add troops, you can remove troops. Just gives you a more you know versatile. developer tool for changing the, changing the battle as you see fit, right? So let's just get right to it. I've set up a battle here. Uh, it has two bads, eight slimes. Um, so if you look at the troop section, uh, you can see that I call it Epic Battle, but you can change the name, whatever you want. Um, basically what you do is you set up the events, right? So on turn zero is you want to you want to do your first um, script call, right? So the first script call, you just go insert script, I've already done, and it's add enemy two, so it adds a bat uh, index one, right? So it adds the bat index one, so it's going to add this bat. So that's the first bat I added into the troop, right? So it adds the first bat on turn zero, right? Before any action is taken. So then turn one is going to add the second bat, right? So add enemy two, index two, right? So now, so turn zero, you add one bat. Turn one, you add another bat, right? So both the bats will be in there, right? So turn three, we're going to add in the hornets, right? Um, this will allow us to, you know, just add in more troops. This adds in an entire troop, right? So instead of adding one enemy at a time, you add in entire troops. So this is going to add in oops, the eight hornets that we have set up here. So it's going to add in eight troops into the battle. So if you don't kill any troops by this point, you're going to have. 18 troops, right? So 8 plus 2 plus 8, right? 18. So you're going to have 18 troops by this point, and then uh, the fourth event page says if um, 
if the troop exists three, which is the hornets, then you're going to add in skeletons. If the troop doesn't exist, then you say the hornets have been defeated. So this allows you to um, <coughs> hold on. We need to add a script here too. It's my fault. I forgot to add it. So we're going to add a script. Um, remove troop. This allows you. This is going to remove the um, the hornets and then add in the skeletons, right? So if the hornet still exists, you remove the you remove the hornets and then add in the skeletons, right? So what I'm trying to do is trying to go through all the scripts script calls. So I forgot to add that in before. So all right. So turn one, we add in one bat. Turn two, we add in the second bat. And there's some text. You can add text as you see fit. Um, turn three or turn two, sorry, we're going to add in the entire Hornet troop. And you can manually arrange these, so you can actually click and drag them to manually arrange them on the battlefield as they will appear in the game, right? Um, this just allows you to, you know, adjust the in it or adjust the 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 way the battle looks, right? Basically, just make it more appealing or more realistic, I guess. I don't know. However, you want to make it look, right? Um, so this conditional branch is going to take two turns to actually test. The first one, we're going to kill off the hornets, and if the hornets die, then nothing should happen, right? The hornets are dead, so they're not going to retreat, and no skeletons are, will appear, right? This is what the conditional branch does. Um, since we added a script as the conditional branch. It's asked, is this troop alive? If it is, then it's going to do this. If it's not, then it's going to do this, right? So it's a, just a conditional branch with the script call in it. So. so yeah, so it will remove the hornets if they're still alive and then add in the skeletons because skeletons are troop 7, okay? I hope all that makes sense. If it doesn't, I will gladly answer any questions about this. Um, so I've already set up the battle. So these battlers are just events that uh, that actually um, start the battle, epic battle, right? So you can name the battles, make it easier to to uh, do the battle processing or set up the battle, right? So in order to do all the script calls that I was talking about, you have to set up, you have to actually call the battle with all the scripts in it, obviously. So. So all of these are the same. They're all going to call the same battle. They're identical. I just arranged them to look like the actual battle themselves, right? So you got eight slimes with two bats behind them. So this allows you to, I mean, this is just a using your imagination to create, recreate the battle on the actual game tiles, you know? So when you walk up to these enemies, it looks like they're in the battle formation already. So, so you have to physically do this too, right? I mean, or manually do this. And what I've set up is a uh, stepping animation directional fix. So they're going to go through the first three animations, or the first three, um, th the first three frames of their character sheet, right? So it's going to look like they're moving, right? It's just going to they're just going to be sitting in place, moving. So if you set up a stepping animation, it goes through the first three. Yeah, or the not the first three. It's going to go through the three successive frames that you have set up. So you, f you do the first frame, you do the second, third, right? So if I had this one selected, it would do the, it would do this one, this one, right? But you want this one, this frame to follow by this frame, followed by this frame. So it looks like it's moving, right? So, so okay, let's get to the testing, right? So you do play testing, new game. Actually, let me check something. Yeah, you can see how the troops are moving. Uh, it's just the, they're just kind of sitting there idly, you know. I want to make sure that I did the right. One, remove troop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I added that uh, at the last second. So. So yeah, you can walk around. You can you can interact with any one of these. Um, it's gonna all start the same battle, right? So. So basically, it's the same battle. Two slimes up front, flanked by three, right? So the first turn, um, nothing's gonna happen, right? Uh, actually, the the bat's gonna appear. Right? The first bat appeared, right? So now you're gonna guard. You say, "Oh no, another bat appeared, right?" So the second turn has happened, you know. So, so 
So we're, we're just gonna go through the whole battle without doing anything so you can see everything appearing. Yeah, so this took a while, so don't mind that. Um, okay, so we're gonna guard again and the, the hornet should appear now. Swarm of hornets, okay. So the swarm of hornets appears. So if we do nothing again, right? Then the hornet should disappear and the skeleton should appear in front, right? Skeletons, don't mind. See? Hornets disappeared, skeletons appeared. So this shows all all of the different um scripts, right? So the next playthrough we will um we will kill off the hornets and the skeletons shouldn't appear, right? That's the, that's the way to test to make sure the conditional branch works. Check check both conditions, right? So, is this just like a yes or no? Oops. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Let me see if this works. That's okay. All right, here we go. So we're gonna kill the hornets on turn two. That way the skeletons are appear this time. We're gonna kill off the slimes as well. So I've set it up so the bats are pretty durable, so they don't die. So that way the battle keeps going. Because if you kill off everything, then the battle ends, obviously. Okay. So now we have to cleave again. So it's going to attack the hornets as they appear, right? So it should kill off the hornets. And then... It should say hornets have been defeated because that's what the condition book says. And those skeletons should appear. That's it. Hornets have been defeated. No skeletons appear. So now, that's it for the battle. So, you can add as many event pages as you want. I think there's a maximum. I don't know what the maximum is. I've never reached it, so. Um, as you can see, there's plenty you can do with this script. Um, what I've done with it, I've added um, a lot of guys to my game. Um, but we're not going to talk about that. So this is just the this is just the way that you can use the script, right? Like just different different things you can do with it. Um, let's say you defeated all the slimes, and you can check to see if they're alive. If they're not, then you can call in more slimes, right? Just continuously call in reinforcements of slimes or Reinforce them so whatever you like, you know. If you're doing a boss fight, you can call in troops to help the boss out. Um, so that's just, this is just a few things you can do with it, just a few ideas. And setting up the battle in game, setting up the actual events and the the graphics to look like the battle, the actual battle processing scene is, it's just an added touch. It's not necessary, right? Because what you can do is you can just delete all of these, right? You don't even have to have these. You can just have one guy. As long as you have one guy that has the battle, it's going to be the same effect, right? But it's just not going to look as... To me, it's not going to look as good. But that's just my opinion, right? So, yeah. So, as you can see, it's the same exact battle, but... It just doesn't look as good to me, you know, so... Just my opinion, though, but... It's just an idea, right? To represent the battle on the actual screen the game screen so but that's it that concludes my tutorial on the the enemy reinforcements uh, Heim script the script written by Heim um, again I'll link it below the enemy reinforcements and the website for Heim so he has many other uh, scripts that you can check out all of them are awesome this is the only one I'm using in my game but feel free to use all of them make sure to contact Heim before you use any of them because you definitely have to get his permission but He's a really cool guy, so I recommend checking out his scripts. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Alright guys, that is my um, 